Chinese have celebrated the Lunar New Year for millennia. As the years have turned, the traditions of this annual festival too have evolved, creating customs and rituals that are as varied as the communities that call this vast nation home. For Chinese President Xi Jinping, this festival means something special. As he once said, the Spring Festival is a new beginning, bearing new hopes. So, how does China's top leader usually spend this important festival? This is Xinhua Special, Xin Chun Kai Le, and a Happy New Year or Happy Spring Festival to you as well. And what are we doing here today? We're going to do some tasks. Oh, and is it by magic? Let's have a look at these. Is this a Hong Bao that I spy? Right, that's Chinese red envelope. But instead of holding money today, it has a special task for us. What does your task say? Spring festival shopping. And mine is to write the Chinese character Fu. Now it's really cold today, and I think it's going to snow. So let's get going. Go. The Spring Festival is a time for family and friends to get together, and the New Year's Eve dinner is the main event of these reunions. So, in the run-up to the Chinese New Year, supermarkets are super busy as people plan and prepare their feasts. It's great to do New Year shopping with the festive cheer. I got a lot of ready-made steamed buns. But actually, in North China's Shanxi, they're famous for being made in all kinds of shapes and sizes, and it's customary for families to make them together. A few days ago, a local family had a special helper. He is very happy to see the old people and old people in the shop. Oh, you eat well, sleep well, live well. He will be very happy to see you eat, sleep, 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 Shanxi was hit particularly hard by heavy flooding last year, and so she was in Fengnanyuan to see how the community was getting on after homes had been rebuilt, farmland restored, and utilities such as central heating reconnected. But this was not the first time that she had rolled up her sleeves to help to make festive snacks ahead of the new year. In Guizhou, the final province in China deemed no longer poor, she joined a family as they made Huangba, a rice cake encased in a leaf wrapper. In Jinggangshan, he also helped to make Ziba, a glutinous rice snack popular in South China. Every year since becoming the party's top leader in 2012, she has made it a tradition to visit people at the primary level, especially the underprivileged communities, in the run-up to the Lunar New Year. But the president shows interest in more than just food. She do such a lot of fun. I eat the kuling gula. I go to see the. I eat the mama mama thing. I go here. That's the little mama mama thing. I go here. Uh,也过也是一次吃不清我过一下，把哎，你姑姑讲过，我不清我过一下，天天拉过，把个西兰的。每到群众家中，常会问一问，还有什么困难，父老乡亲的话我都记在心里。民之所忧，我必念之；民
she has also tried many of their traditions. In Yunnan, he beat a wooden drum three times to bless the coming year, as practiced by the Wa ethnic group. Whilst in Inner Mongolia, he flicked milk three times, a blessing for a lucky and fruitful year, as performed by the Mongolian ethnic group during their winter Nadam fair. A far cry from the waving, cheering crowds associated with visits by world leaders, Xi's Spring Festival visits have always been a more personal affair. Visiting old friends and family at this time of year is a custom as old as the Great Wall, and these annual house calls are now a Chinese New Year tradition. It is also very typical for families to pose for portraits together. So another tradition this time of year is to take family photographs, right? Right, and at a century-old photo studio, we're going to check that out. Okay, let's go and have a look. So do you have photos? For Chinese, the family is the smallest unit of a country, and the country is made up of millions of families. Xi once summarized the country-family relationship in this way, only when each and every family is well-off can the country and the nation be well-off. The president's focus on the poorest members of society has been a common thread throughout his political career. The seed sown about five decades ago during his time in a remote village in the northwestern province of Shanxi have been cultivated throughout his career, right up to the top job. The past year has been remarkably significant. The Communist Party of China celebrated its 100th founding anniversary. The country bid farewell to absolute poverty, which had plagued the country for thousands of years, and realized the first centenary goal of building a moderately prosperous society in all respects. Even so, the thing that she cares most about remains unchanged. Be it Guizhou, Fujian, Guangxi, Henan, Qinghai, Tibet, Hebei, Shanxi, Shandong, or other places he visited last year, Xi voiced a real concern about the people's welfare. Now his focus has shifted from poverty elimination to rural vitalization and common prosperity, aiming to let everyone share in the accomplishments and developments of recent years. 全面小康，摆脱贫困，是我们党给人民的交代，也是对世界的贡献。让大家过上更好的生活，我们不能满足于眼前的成绩，还有很长的路要走。So, with all our tasks complete, the last thing is for me to say Happy New Year to you. And have you got any wishes for the Chinese New Year ahead? Happy New Year! I do have wishes. I wanted to learn skiing in the New Year, and also I wanted to go to more places in China and to learn about the lives of more people. Skiing is bang on trend because the Winter Olympics are just around the corner, and I must say, my wish is probably to do that too—to try out winter sports. One last question: Why are we here? I think it's a lovely way to start the Chinese New Year with beautiful music from the Spring Festival concert. Let's check it out. Our country will always be in the world stage. Wish everyone a happy New Year. 祝大家虎年身体健康，平平安安。祝大家虎年大吉，如虎添翼。祝大家虎年吉祥，生龙活虎。我也祝愿啊，我们伟大的祖国，山河锦绣，风调雨顺，国泰民安，繁荣富强。